Time is running out for Australia to eradicate the potentially deadly red fire ants. Fire ants could wreak more damage in Australia than feral rabbits, cane toads and foxes combined. Red ants entered the country through the port of Brisbane about 15 years ago and quickly taken hold in southeast Queensland. The National Red Fire Ant Eradication Program recommended spending $380 million over 10 years to stop their spread. Well, a report has estimated that if fire ants were not wiped out in Australia, they could be responsible for up to 3,000 anaphylactic reactions each year. An independent review... According to a report prepared for the federal government and obtained by the ABC... We're searching for fire ant nests so that he and his team can poison and hopefully eradicate them from this area. This is a major problem because these things love electricity. Yeah. Uh, they can get in here, they're going to short all of that out. If that fight is lost and the ants spread nationally, they could damage crops, machinery and cut profit margins for farmers from anywhere between 10 and 40 per cent. Joining us in the studio to discuss where to next is the CEO of the Invasive Species Council, Andrew Cox. Andrew Cox is the CEO of the Invasive Species Council. We won't be able to walk around on our grassy lawns with thongs. We won't be able to have picnics. Our playgrounds won't be able to be used without actually baiting. So fire ants will change Australia's way of life. The problem is scientists can barely afford to track and contain the outbreak with the year-to-year -year funds they get from state and federal governments. Federal and state agricultural ministers will decide whether to stump up the cash at a meeting next year. Barnaby Joyce. It can't just be a problem for Queensland because it's the state boundary is just an arbitrary line on the map. Ants don't care about it. And for many living, or soon to be living, with fire ants, that decision can't come soon enough. Jake Sturmer, ABC News, Ipswich.